What adaptations do flamingos have to specifically overcome the challenges of a very alkaline lake? So if we understand that this lake is very alkaline, it's very high pH, dangerous to be in, and what high pH things can do is they can cause what are called caustic burns. It'll just basically tear your skin apart. Not ideal to be in very caustic water. So how do flamingos deal with this? The flamingos have very thick skin on their legs. So their legs are a little bit tougher than most to be able to stand constantly in this water. They also, just like many other birds, have uh, oils on their feathers that will make them waterproof. So that will help keep the water off of their feathers because you could splash some caustic water and you'd probably be okay. But if you keep your hand wet, that's when the problems start to happen. So if you ever do have to deal with putting your hand in bleach, wash it off immediately and you'll be fine. But if you have waterproof hands, waterproof feathers, dipping it is fine. So thick skin on their legs, waterproof feathers, that'll keep away a lot of their problems, but they're eating directly from it. So this lake not only is very caustic, but it is also very salty. And something that they have to be able to deal with the salt is what's called a supraorbital gland or a salt gland. And this is something that a lot of birds, especially seabirds have, and it is a way for them to be able to deal with excess salt. So if you drink a lot of salt water or salty stuff, a lot of that salt ends up in your blood. Now, having a lot of salt in your blood can cause all sorts of problems. Salty blood is not a good thing. So what they are going to do to get rid of the salt is they have this gland that's connected to their nose and it, the blood will go through the gland and it will pull the salt out of the blood and then you'll just have the salt and it'll be able to excrete the salt out of their nose. So you won't see too much like dripping off of the nose of the flamingos because their heads are always upside down in the water so it gets washed away. But many birds, you'll actually see salt dripping off of their noses after they've been in the water for a while, which is kind of cool. So those are the main adaptations that flamingos have to be able to deal with this really toxic environment. So they have the thick skin legs, they have waterproof feathers, and they have a salt excreting nose gland.